Okay, hello guys. In this video, let's talk about how to make the tail section control surfaces on this aircraft. So, we will be talking about how to make the vertical stabilizer in this case. And, well, as you can see here, it's pretty much the same. The vertical stabilizer and the elevators are pretty much the same because, you know, we are using the same method to create all these three control surfaces it's just uh, it's on different planes and different directions that's the only difference so in our previous videos we have already made the fuselage of the aircraft so what we're gonna do is we are gonna build the vertical stabilizer on this empanat section over here so for that at first we need to create a separate plane so okay so the first thing is we have to do a little bit of uh, a step by step procedures here because the problem is we cannot do a normal loft here because as you can see the the curvature of this empennage does not allow us to get that you know it it won't be perfect if we do a straight straight uh, straight sketch at the bottom and then loft it up because it's uh, this curve of the empennage won't be won't be produced in that straight sketch so what we have to do is a set of steps to make a sketch that is having the curve of the empennage so first of all we are going to create a plane with reference to the top plane so let's just do that and the idea is to give a surface for sketching the base of the elevator not the elevator the stabilizer so I will tell you why I created a plane in such a location that is not outside the empennage but with inside the empennage and not on the top plane itself so let's at first we have to see the, the dimension for that oops mm, show it okay so the stabilizer starts from here and ends there so we have to start a new sketch on the right plane uh, let's do one here let's make it like that and let's make this one like that so that we know where it begins and where it ends so the next thing that we have to do is we have to start the sketch in the new plane that we created and to make things simple just do convert entities so we have this as the starting and this as the end of the vertical stabilizer base and the other thing we can do is just delete that convert entities relation to the other sketch so what what makes what help does it do, um, does it do for us it it makes us possible to just delete the previous sketch so we can just click on that and just delete it it does not affect the new sketch so now what we got to do is we got to re-enter that sketch again and just make the profile of the base so as you can see I've made the sketch here for the base of the stabilizer so okay now we have a few steps to do so for now let's exit the sketch and hide this for our convenience and hide this too so as you can see the sketch is inside the implant section and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make uh, the impression of the curve on the empennage so you use you go to project curves from the curves and features and click the sketch and you should select sketch on faces so 
the sketch is already selected now we have to go to the faces and you, see, you can see when you click the face the sketch appears here and there's another thing you can do both in different directions as well so make sure that it is upwards where we want the stabilizer to be so we can select that and we get a curve on that section so it is it is the length of the stabilizer as we cal as we just drew before but it's in another shape it's in the 3d it's in 3d but the other thing is we cannot use this for a loft because it's a curve so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one more thing we're just gonna convert entities in 3d sketch so that we have a sketch instead of a curve so what you do is just click convert entities and select the curve and it gives us a 3d sketch so now we have the base which is having the curves and everything but there's an other thing there's another thing that we have to take into consideration if you look at the curve here you can see a small thing that is popping out of there and that might lead to a uh, small problems when we are doing the loft especially when you're going to do the fillet it's not gonna turn out well so what we're gonna do is you're gonna do a few things here so at first this is in relation to the curve that we produced before the first thing that we have to do we do is we have to delete the relations to that curve and the sketch okay now all the relations are deleted and we have a curve which is standing on its own and the next thing that we have to do is we have to slide this curve down a little bit so that we can avoid an error called zero thickness geometry i don't know what that ha why that happens it's mostly because this is on the surface and it creates zero thickness geometry which SOLIDWORKS won't allow because it gives errors in mathematical calculations even though we are not doing it so what we do is we click on move entities control like control a selects all the all the curves and splines and we have to move it in y direction here so we're just gonna give it like minus 10 millimeters I guess that will be good because it is inside the empanage now and we just click OK so this is the parent curve and this is the sketch we're just gonna hide this parent curve for now because we don't need it anymore but you should not delete it no I think you can delete it let's just see if you can delete it yeah you can delete it because you yeah we already deleted all the relations right so we don't need that anymore now since that's done we have the base all ready for us so the next thing we got to do is we have to draw the guide curves to the top of the stabilizer i think we can delete this one too uh, just yeah i think we can delete that one too Yep, we can delete that one too. So we are left with this 3D base sketch. Now we have to go to the right view image so that we have uh, we have a guideline to follow to create the guide curves to this top section. So now we gotta just sketch out the guide curves. Okay, so I've sketched out both the guide curves now. It's in a single sketch. Both these guide curves are a single sketch. So now all we have to do is create another plane with respect to the top plane as reference. Click on the point. Make sure that both these guide curves are ending at the same, same height because we want them both in the same plane because that helps us to make the final sketch at the top be in the same plane so now we are left with the final sketch so we have to just start sketching the final sketch at the top 
Okay, the final sketch is also ready. Now we have to do the loft. But there is another problem that arise if you do the normal lofting. I'll show you what happens. So just gonna select the two profiles and then the two guide curves. So everything is good so far, but here comes the problem. This error has popped up several times when I did this, but I think well, uh, I only could find just one solution to this, and that is to use surface lofting instead of normal solid body loft. So for that, we just go to the options, we go to the surface menu, and then click surface loft from there. And it's just the basic same loft except for the fact that we are using surfaces instead of the solid body. So it's just the same steps, just go and select the profiles first, then go to the guide curves, select the guide curves, and then we are good to go. There you go, we have a surface loft there. But then there's another problem. We cannot put a fillet there because this is a surface and this is a solid body. So we have to make this a solid body. So for that, what we have to do is we have to go to the options again to boss base and the feature called thicken. What this does is it gives a thickness to the surface. So we just put that to one millimeter. Uh, go for it and it gives it should give us a thickness there you go so as you can see it is a little bit thick over there so that's what you need and there you go that's how you make a vertical stabilizer on an aircraft and there's another thing that you can do uh, to close this section off so before you do the thicken you can just delete it and before you do the thicken function you can again go to the surface feature and there's a, f a option called fill what it does is it just finds the boundary and put a surface to enclose it so there we got uh, a surface boundary over there a uh, the surface is filled and then you go to the boss base and thicken function again and put a thickness on there and make sure you extrude it inwards and not outwards because if you do it outwards it, the number one thing is we are violating the values that we already gave for our stabilizer and the other thing is it's gonna look really ugly over here because this this surface here it's covering the base surface and if you extrude it outwards it's gonna protrude outwards and this surface will look as if it's sunken in and you don't want that so you extrude it inwards and it should work perfectly so there we go that's how you make the vertical stabilizer and you can use the same same function to make the elevators because it's it's basically the same thing it's just on a different plane and that's the only difference and to make it a little more beautiful you can just throw in a fillet over there say 100, 100 millimeters and there you go that's how you do the vertical stabilizer and the elevator control surfaces so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave some insight into doing surface lofts, surface fill feature, and about 3D sketch and moving the 3D sketch within the object. Okay, and that's all for this video. Please like my video. Please share your comments with me. And if you want me to do any other models or anything, please do ask me. I hope I get time to do that. I will find, find time to do that. 
and subscribe to my channel for more more videos okay guys see you later then